I came here to Napa Valley in 1960. I was one of the first employees and I've seen the winery grow and I have seen Robert's enthusiasm that I'm sure had a lot to do with the golden age of the Napa Valley. He was adventurous, he had the spirit of wanting to try anything, nothing held him back. This adventurous spirit enticed Robert Mondavi to expand his love of winemaking into a love of the arts. He believed that a life with wine, food, and art was a richer, fuller life. I love Napa and I felt that it was sort of bypassed. I wanted people for a change to stop in Napa. As a result, in 1969, Margaret created the Robert Mondavi Winery Summer Festival a music festival that has attracted a dazzling array of local and national artists to Napa Valley. Past performers include Tony Bennett, Ella Fitzgerald, Benny Goodman, Lena Horn, and many others. When I started the concert series, it was also kind of accidental. We borrowed the chairs from the church and the stage from the high school. The people took the chairs put them under the walkways and sat on the lawn. They brought picnics. It was just lovely. You sat in the middle of the vineyards. It was an unbelievable ambiance. The Summer Music Festival is now a Napa Valley tradition, but its contribution to life in the valley has always been more profound than just entertainment. To date, the Summer Festival has raised more than $2 million for the local arts community including the Napa Valley Unified School District and Napa Valley Symphony. It was this idea of having a little tasting of wine out on the lawn and some cheese and this great freedom and it got to be a huge success. And it became a very wonderful festival, but it was also a festival for wine, food and the arts. In addition to music, Robert and Margaret have always shared a love for art Soon after the winery's opening in 1966, Margaret began hosting exhibitions for artists from the valley and around the world. The art shows in the vineyard room came sort of naturally because of my love for the arts. Bob had always liked art in many forms, had not much time to dedicate to it. So I grew up with a sense of beauty around me. And then I went to art school so when I came into his life, I think it was natural. I dragged him to museums, I dragged him to the opera and symphonies, and he liked it all. In a very, uh, let me say, beginning humble stage, we started the art shows in the vineyard room. To date, the Robert Mondavi Winery has hosted exhibitions for Richard Diebenkorn, Wayne Thibault, Henry Waddell, and Nathan Oliveira. The winery's permanent collection includes works by Benjamino Bufano, Gordon Huther, and many others. Well, here we have one of my favorite Bufano pieces. That great bronze horse on a, a pedestal of mosaics in that great this aqua tone. And it is just, I find the simplicity, the magnificent the expression of the horse itself and how it stands is great. The only thing that I would do, I would actually prefer this horse outside. And in my dreams, I think one of these days, it's just gonna leap up, jump over this wall, find the door and go outside and stand in the lawn. Because I think it would be just magnificent in sunshine and in all kinds of moods during the day with different lights. If you see the works of real artists, I'm a doodler, but I appreciate art and I love to, I love to draw and paint and, and uh, when we go on trips and so forth, I always take a little sketchbook. It leaves a memory when you, when you put yourself on to try to reproduce what you see. Art enriches life, you know, but you can do many other things and still have a wonderful life because you perceive everything from a with the eye of an artist. In 1976, Margaret began to host culinary artists from around the world, 
and she called this program Great Chefs at the Robert Mondavi Winery. Bob always thought that wine should be connected to the arts, and when I approached him on this one, he said, well, that's what I always wanted. I wanted a little cooking school here. For a winemaker like Bob, food comes naturally. And so he took on a program. It was a wonderful idea. And, and the cooking classes were such a, a feast for everything. We had music, we had the greatest decor. The vineyard room was magic. It was that kind of an event where you would say, where in the world would you like to be tonight if you had a choice? You wanted to be right here. Alumni of the Great Chefs program include the Troy Grow Brothers, Michelle Girard, Julia Child, Alice Waters, Charlie Trotter, Jeremiah Tower, and Wolfgang Puck. It was a wonderful symbiotic event because we showed them the great cuisine and the chefs got exposed to California wines. And they said, well, this wine is good, c'est bon. And all of them brought our wines to their restaurants. The Mondavi's love of wine, food, and art reached a new pinnacle in 2001 when they personally helped to found Copia in the city of Napa. It was about 12 years ago, Bob started to dream about what is now Copia, the American Center for Wine, Food, and the Arts. Today, Copia is considered the wine country gathering place for people, enthusiasts, and artists to explore and celebrate wine, food, gardens, and the arts. Copia epitomizes the message that art takes many forms. Wine, music, visual and performing media, and food. Whatever form it takes, there is consensus that art enriches the soul. We try to live life uh, in a happy state if we can, and certainly wine, food, and the arts will make, especially Good wine, good food, good art will make life more interesting, happier. When you're happier, you also contribute to other people's happiness. He always said, I've never sold a bottle of wine in my life. I always sold the philosophy, the joy that you can make a feast out of a meal, that you bring the family together. That's what wine, food, and the arts are about, happy times. Enrich your life. Experience wine, food, and the arts at the Robert Mondavi Winery.